the fourth shear and the Otras Chayev. Vine Kasher Tzimtzum Atzmoy, when after this act of Tzimtzum, where the Orin Sof now is at the circumference of this circle, within the circumference of the circle is, of course, the interior of the circle, which is the Chalal. As Derek Tzad Echad, Min Chalal, from one side, but it means probably from one point of the, of the circumference of the halal, right? Ha'ogel is there from this circular um, circle. Him shich or derech kav echad yoshal dak. So a line, a thin line emerges from a point of the circumference, right? Ke'ein sino echad, just like a, a pipe. So the Or Ainso, which is at the circumference of the circle, at the Tzimtzum, now re-enters into the interior of the circle through this Kav. Now literally it means, means it literally means fills it up, but it doesn't mean it's going to fill it up completely, as the Re is going to go on to explain in a little while, but rather the Or Ainso is now is going to re-enter into the interior of the circle, and then we're going to have emerged and created all of the spiritual and physical worlds um, of reality. However, there is going to remain an empty space between the or, the, the infinite light, the or ends up within the interior of the circle, which is generated by this kav. And between the or Ainsov, which is on the circumference of the Chalal, Kaniska, Shinistansim El Stodov, as we mentioned, this four in circumference was contracted to the circumference of the circle, and says the Ari that there's going to be an empty space between the or Ainsov generated by the Kav within the interior of the circle, and between the light, the or Ainsov, which was the Stansim, which contracted the circumference of the circle. Right, the the um, and when the the um, when the kav, when the this line, this kav, right, re-enters into the halal, and let's say enters straight within the interior of the circle, the end of it in the or of atzmo does not, in fact, um, touch, does not actually reconnect with the or of the end of of the circumference on the other side of the circle. Shim Lonke, because if it would actually reconnect with it, Yaksa Hadavl Kama Shahanya. So things will go back to the initial state before the symptom, and we're back to square one, and therefore we never get started. So what's going to happen is, is that the Kav will now um, reconnect with the or the Ainsov at the circumference of the Halal. And therefore, because of this, the entire interior of the halal will in fact um, fill up the entire halal. And we're, like I mentioned before, we're back to the, um, the, um, um, the initial state before the tzimtzum. And goes on the Arif, And because of that, um, when the or re-enters through the kav into the halal, it does not re-enter Rak Derek Kav Echad Dak Levat Kaniska. It's only one-dimensional line, a thin line, right? It doesn't enter two-dimensionally. The circumference of the circle, of course, even though the circumference itself is one-dimensional, it's the boundary and defines a two-dimensional surface, which constitutes the interior of the circle. But the line, in fact, is going to, as it enters into the interior of the circle, is only one-dimensional. And it has to be one-dimensional. And the order of the Ainsov re-enters into the Halal through this one-dimensional Kav, right? Shoot, right? Shuanetzal. And this in fact actually is the Kav, which is um, which is and this or Ainsov of the Halal is created. So therefore we have a connection between what's called the Natsal the creation, and to the matzil, um, between the creator. But there's only this one connection at this one point. Now, 
And even though all of Atsilas is round, all the Atsilas is within the interior of a circle, and the circumference right, of the Ein Sof surrounds it as a circumference, equally, isotropically, from all sides. Nevertheless, the point of juncture where the calf emerges from the circumference of the circle and actually connects what's come to the circle, that's going to be called Rosh Atzilis, the beginning of Atzilis. And everything, the orange of which re enters within the area of the circle. Nikra Tachtonis Atzilis, this is the lower part of Atzilis. Because by virtue of the one dimensionality, so this is a, is a hierarchy. In other words, the circumference, right, is isotropic. There's no notion of hierarchy. Um, there is there isn't a variegated um, declension of spirituality. Masha'enkin, however, the circumference of the circle, um, the, everything is equidistance to the center, and one person stands within the circle, and therefore there's no concept of hierarchy. Because, in fact, if the, um, in other words, the calf has to um, be a one-dimensional object which re-enters, not as a, as concentric circles, right, but rather has to enter um, as a line, as a one dimensional object within the interior of the circle, in order that in fact actually we should have a concept of top and bottom. So therefore the circumference of the circle is isotropic, it's one. It defies any notion of hierarchy, but the one dimensional line, of course, there's a concept of hierarchy. There's a top, there's a bottom, and Mr. Shem will see that there's sides, and there will be patsufim, etc., etc. So therefore, we are from the construction of an isotropic and, um, and non-variegated or enso, the notion of a, or the enso, which in fact has the properties of hierarchy, which will represent the creation of the worlds of Atzilos. <coughs> now, the Ari over here, in fact, is um, expressing some very, very basic concepts which are, are I think, fundamental for us to understand. Um, and these will be, in fact, actually concepts which actually form the foundations of the Kabbalah salary for the rest of the Eitzvah's Chayim. The Ari first mentions that there has to be an area, there has to be space between the Or Eitzvah and the Kav, and between the Or Hamakiv, which is at the circumference of the circle, the Or Hamakiv, which is Mistanzim, to the, um, the, um, the circumference of the, of the Halal, because, says the Ari, if that, um, if that in fact actually, if there actually is an empty space, then in fact, um, there, will, um, the, there will actually be a re-emergence of the Or Hamakiv within the entirety of the halal, of the interior of the circle. And therefore, in fact, we'll go back to the state of events before the Tzimtzum, and therefore we have an infant recursion, and therefore there cannot be, in fact, actually a creation. In addition, says the Ari, <coughs> the Kav, when it re-emerges into the, the interior of the circle, cannot reconnect on the other side, because for the Aritz, it seems to imply that the same thing will happen. The ones that reconnect with the other side of the circle, so therefore also too, there will be a re-entry of all of the Orhamak within the interior of the circle. And once again, we're back to the square one, we're back to the position or the state of things before the Tzimtzum. However, what's important to note is, is that what the Ali is saying is, there has to be a concept of separation, of distinction, of dichotomy between the Matzil and the Natsal. Even though at one point the Matzil and Natsal are connected, they're connected, but they're connected at the point that the, from which the Kav emerges into the interior of the Halal, 
Nonetheless, there has to be a clear distinction between matzil and netza. In other words, there has to be a irreducible dichotomy, at least, right, ex- with the exception of this point of connection, and therefore we can distinguish matzil from netza. So, the Iran, in fact, is actually balancing two concepts, right? On one concept, we require a connection at one point between the kav and the ohamakif, right? The Iran is not saying that there's a gap between the emergence of the kav and between the ohamakif. On the other hand, it's clear that there has to be a um, there has to be a a space, an area between the or within the interior of the circle after that one point of connection, that one intersection, and between the or makif. Otherwise, we don't have a distinction between <coughs> um, matzil and netza. Now, this these two points is in fact actually a complex issue, which in fact actually we're going to speak about in the, um, in the, um, for the rest of the Oitzos Chayim, because we see that in addition to what we spoke about, that the Tzimtzum establishes an irreducible dichotomy between a Kodesh Baruch Hu and between Kodesh Baruch Hu in of himself and Kodesh Baruch Hu relates to the world. And that we call, what I spoke to spoke about an irreducible dichotomy, it turns out that at every stage of creation, there has to be, at least at this point of stage of creation, where in fact actually even mitzideinu, because the, the symptom is mitzideinu, but nonetheless even mitzideinu, there has to be a distinction between what's called matzil and netza. In other words, the kav, the or hamakif, of the circumference of the circle, is in a certain sense a matzil in relationship to the kav, which is called a netza. Even though the ultimate matzil is a Kodesh Baruch Hu, and that's before the Tzimtzum, nonetheless, even the Tzimtzum mitzideinu has to create what's called a mitzidoi, a mitzidoi mitzideinu, and a mitzideinu should be mitzideinu. So in other words, so therefore there has to be, even within mitzideinu, even from the human point of view, there has to be a distinction between the or from the God side, not a of himself from the God side, and the or which is apprehended from the creation side. And therefore, on the other hand, there has to be a connection. So basically we're dealing with what I would say is this um, two variables, this notion of complementarity, right, between, in fact, a connection between the matzil and the natzal, and between a distinction between the matzil and the natzal. And this is a very, very fundamental notion of the Ari. It's in fact actually, not only is it a fundamental of the Ari, but it's actually be a very point of contention between the Ari and the Gor. And the Mitzvah in the next Shi'ur we will elaborate more on this principle.